Hi everybody, we're uh, just going to show you a little bit about the uh, Big Wheel campground today. Uh, it seems like it's uh, pretty nice. We haven't been to a lot of campgrounds, but this one seems like really nice. There's so, so many trees and we actually found a little uh, orange tree close to our camper. So that's real cool. We uh, had a couple slices. We were thinking about sneaking over maybe in the middle of the night and getting enough to make a little thing of orange juice in the morning. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna take you around and show you some of the different things about this uh, uh, campground. And so far we like it, so maybe you will too someday. So here is the uh, entrance. This is the office. And the first look at the park you get when you come in. They do have a lot of pretty decent landscaping around, which makes it nice. So this is the dog walk. Uh, it's, I don't know, probably 50 yards long, about 20 yards wide. Uh, nice little area if you have a pet with you and you want to let them run around for a little bit and exercise. A couple nice concrete benches in there. Some nice vegetation for them to play around. In our adventure this morning, Peggy found a trail. <laughs> and we're gonna like venture back in there but since we both have flip-flops on I'm thinking that we may get our tennis shoes on and head back in for a uh, little better look but at least we can kind of check it out and see what's going on oh it don't look like it goes very far that way private property keep out This way, on the other hand, has a little bit, but I think it just goes out to the road. But it is pretty neat back here. This is a uh, real good idea of what the uh, undergrowth looks like all through this area of uh, southern Georgia and Florida. And I guess that's why uh, South Carolina is known as the Palmetto State, because that's what you see all the impenetrable ground cover is here. This is a nice little field that's out back. It, uh, I don't know, you could probably get a pretty good game of football or soccer or definitely throw some Frisbee out here. You can't really say enough about the, how pretty the landscape is and how uh, unique it is. Just being from West Virginia, this is uh, kind of almost like another planet. <laughs> you know, you don't see all the moss and the palmettos on the ground and the underbrush, but it really is pretty. is along the back uh, row of campers and as you can see these are nice deep lots uh, there is sewage hookups electric water at each lot um, they can could easily pull a class a like 50 footer in some of these but uh, everything's really nice and wooded This is the community center. Uh, it's got a pretty nice sized meeting room for playing cards or just getting together. There's the uh, laundry. It's also uh, restrooms. Laundry is pretty reasonable, about $350 to wash and dry your clothes, so I'm pretty happy with that. As you can see out in the front, some real pretty landscaping.
this is site number two. This is pretty typical with about all the sites here. Um, some of them actually are a little more, there's a little more trees and stuff on them, but this has a nice little uh, grassy area here in the front. And plenty of room on the uh, other side for your privacy. Nice picnic table. Uh, and you can see these are probably 60 foot or so pull throughs. Uh, but th yeah, this is pretty typical for uh, the campground. One thing I wanted to uh, mention, I forgot to in the first part, is the uh, sites along this back area are back in only. They're not pull through sites, but pretty much all of the other sites in the campground are pull through and they're really nice and level. Everything's got concrete pads. So this is another uh, nice little area here at the campground. Nice little uh, field. This is uh, some of what they call uh, RV tent sites. I think they have water, electric, but they don't have sewage. But to be honest, if Peg and I would have known that when we came, we probably might have opted for one of these. You know, it's almost worth having the, uh, the little pond and the fountain and your solitude back here in the back of the campground all to yourself. As you can see, this is uh, really pretty. I think this would be Peggy <laughs> figuring out how to use her selfie stick. With Jim's assistance, he's teaching me how to do photography. Because <laughs> I really, really suck at it. <laughs> and she says how much she sucked at it, just as I whizzed her off the side of the screen while she was talking. So yeah, this is just another view of the lake. I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk around the backside here. I saw this plant, which is uh, actually a beautiful plant. Kind of like one of those things you get in Lowe's, but this is just a giant one. And it's growing wild right along the path here on the pond.
we did find a nice little surprise around the next corner. A little orange tree. This is the second one we found in the campground. One is uh, kind of between two campers, so we didn't think it would be appropriate to steal fruit from that, so this one we claim is ours. So here's the uh, last of the nice big fields. But it's just a, a nice big area to uh, come and walk and is what we're doing today. As you can see from above, all the sites are nicely wooded, as I mentioned earlier. Another great thing is that in mid-November, there's still plenty of vegetation on all the trees. All of the roads are paved and in very good condition. There's plenty of space for everybody to stretch out and relax. We hope you've enjoyed this walkthrough of a big wheel RV park in St. Mary's, Georgia. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us online for our travel blog at Searching for Solitude. Thanks.